chapter 210. Chicago. We're just getting started for breakfast. We've been up all night. Our flight was delayed. breakfast. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning on Friday morning, June 13th, 1986. Stay there. Stay there. All right, guys. We've been up all night. We got stuck in the airplane. Stay there. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. We got stuck in the airplane. We sat on the runway for two hours. We got to Chicago at about two o'clock in the morning on Friday morning, June 13th, day of the parade. We had to catch a couple of the local joints, which we did. We got back just in time to shower and shave. Except for Joe Costello, he just shaved. This is the Motley Crew. We're going to do a zoom in on them. Help them smile. They wouldn't. All right, this is chapter 210. Right here. What a group. like to wake up <laughs> after surgery. Let me say, hold it, Gracie. <laughs> no, now, look. <laughs> That's not fair. Carry my glasses. This is why they got better so fast. It's back out in the field. We're kidding. We're kidding. We love it. We love it. This thing. Oh. Hey, okay. I don't think that's an Air Force on, though. Damn 
right, boy. Got my ribbon. There you go. All right, my huh? Missleman's badge. You got the missile man badge? Yeah. Whole nine yards, man. That's it. Actual, this guy is actually in the Air Force. <laughs> no. Air Commandos. <laughs> well, same, same, man. You better dump that coffee or you're going to wear it. Yeah, you better hold all the time, man. Say, Brian, where are you at, boy? Yes, sir. Looking good, man. Thank you, Air Force.
Sober, Elliot. Buddy, I guess, huh? Fantastic. Isn't that great? Yeah. Found your buddy. That's Army. Uh, Army. Is that your buddy, Grace? You know her? There's some bunnies. Chicago Playboy bunnies. Come to enjoy this festive occasion. Look, 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 look at the front. Look at the camera taking pictures. Let's just go. This is going to be good. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Look at the camera up here. Close up by the ABC cameraman. Say hello. Hello. You're on camera. <laughs> Got the POWMIA flag, huh? Isn't that nice? The old deuce in the hair. Flying that flag, man. Looking good. <laughs> Joe, smile, you're on candid camera. I'm here in Chicago and... Uh, Try to act natural. Today. Speak up into the microphone here. Well, I'm here in Chicago today and uh, I'm representing the United States government. And uh, what I'm here to present today is that what we should have is a uh, $400,000 bonus for all veterans. And per man. Per man. Yes, that's correct. And uh, tell us about I think your flight. It be a minute. Tell us about your flight out here on Midway. Well, I had to, I had to assist the uh, pilot because he was having some trouble with turbulence. He was nervous. I wasn't, of course, but uh, we we made it through. Now back to you. That's it. That's a big one. Yeah. You know, there was no front line. 
Speak up so we can hear you, gentlemen. We're trying to. We're here. We're still looking for our Ramey. I found him. Why don't you uh, tell the tell Chapter 210 who you found and his name? I found my friend Don Elber. Yeah. Yeah. My friend Don Frank. August 21st, 1968. Sounds good to me, gentlemen. Welcome home. I'm going to try and give you a panorama here of this. Close to probably a million people here. Most of them should be around that. Expected around 200,000. And they now estimate the crowd at close to a million people. The one on the far side. Cut around here to the, to the masses. Wall to wall people. Thank <laughs> you. 
Up there? I see her. I see her. I see her.
keep me from falling over a beer can. Right? Rushing in to see the parade. They were special unit, right? Right.
What kind of beer are we drinking? Coors. Sour Coors. Compliments of. What's your name again? Make yourself at home, Grace. I am. What do you think, Elliot? Oh, there he is in his natural state. I wish you'd take that toilet. And now for a really exciting shot. Two presidents here. Welcome home, brothers. Can't figure out who, who's going to hold the money, who's going to spend it. It's the largest parade in the history of this country. Hey! Yeah! What's that? The largest, largest parade in the history of the country. Oh, all right. Some bad old bulls, I tell ya. Come on in the park here, everybody. Come on out the streets. Let's get inside here. Because his job depends on it. <laughs> yeah. Someone move an etching off the wall. A what? It's got James McKenzie, Daniel Ryan, Ray Cole. It's right here. Parade in the history of the United States. Okay. Yes, sir. That's why I talk to myself. 
Well, usually it's one that plays with himself, usually talks to himself. So. You have to be consistent. You have to be consistent. You mean when you have that running? I can't thank him. There he is. That I have some wonderful food. That's a great place. Will you? I enjoyed it. It made me more excited and more proud. Right, here you go. Here you go. And to participate. Yeah, there's veterans parade and the great city asshole. He can't play the guitar any other day, right? Only today he can play the guitar. I've been looking forward to it for some time. How about this uniform? I don't know if I had worn that in 15 years. I only fought it a few years. And I decided to wear it because I'm going to show you guys that it would still fit. <laughs> 15 years, man. Huh? Decent. Now, to be very candid with you, it is a little tighter on the midsection. I'm mid age now, and sometimes you get a mid age. Mid 70s. Uh, but I was able to get it buttoned. And by God, this is Vietnam veteran luck. The weather turned out. The plants have gone without a hitch. And Tom, we are. The people here in Chicago, you know. About a year ago, New York City put one of these on, but uh, New York City is now second best. His arm. And we couldn't get the bodies out. All right, Bob. Tell him, tell him, tell him what it's like in here in Chicago. Tell him, tell the guys from 210 what they didn't see, man. They missed it all. Huh? Was that a comment? <laughs> there was a, uh, there was a breakdown from Bob Krzyzewski. And he was really talkative at the barbecue too. Japan to Texas. Brian Quinlan. This is uh, room 911. This is the room that that uh, Brian Quinlan would love to have, a Porsche 911, but he just he just can't quite see it. He'd rather have another tow truck. This guy here, this next guy here, would you uh, would you uh, say hello to the crowd, please, sir? Yeah, you in the hat. You in the hat. Yeah. Do me a favor and stand over here next to Bob Grzeski away from the light. Because you know what? We tried to get Westmoreland at the banquet and the light over his head killed it. We do have a microphone, so you can talk, Jim. 
you know what I mean? I'm pretty shy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy to be here with y'all. You all know that. Yeah. Well, you know, expand a little bit on that. Man. We got lots of taper. I, I brought two tapers. We're not even halfway through one. You know what I mean? Yeah, battery power, man. So what do you think, Jim? Thank you a lot, Jim. <laughs> All right, now it's Bob Grishet. Over here, I'm going to get some reflection on your face. Get up against the wall, Bob. I want Bobby to see that you were actually here in oh, Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Now, Bobby, Bobby, this is Bob, and his wife, of course, is Bobby. Now, Bobby, when you see this tape, I just want you to understand one thing. I want you to know that I'm taking this this film. This is actually the 15th. Or let the other guys. When we got off the plane, we, when we got off the plane on the when we got off the plane on the 12th, we actually haven't seen Bob since. Oh yeah. So we really don't know where we went. But here he is now. <laughs> he, is, he is here in <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> All right, over here against the walker, Stella. Let's spread them out. I want to, let's go. All right, come on, get the feet apart. Get the feet apart. All right, you want, somebody want to check him out? Check him out. How do you feel about that search and seizure, sir? I'm afraid of trolley cars. Did they have a search warrant, sir? Well, they don't really need one in this case because it was malicious mopery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are being recorded right now. Do you understand that? Do you have the right to remain silent? That's my biggest problem. You know that? <laughs> All right. Today is, uh, by the way, folks, today is June 14th. That's Saturday. I still oh, yeah. look pretty good. That's right. They're not slits now. This morning earlier, they were slits. He still has a hairline. Looking good. These guys bracelet on. No, that's a watch. Excuse me. Bracelets on the other wrist. There we go. Hey, I'll tell you what, VVA 210, you'd be proud. The hat the, the hurts. i what, this hat hurts. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> right on. All right, guys, here we go. I just like Talk to, uh, loud, because we got to... i just like to explain to you folks back in 210 what this helicopter means. Out here in Chicago, of course, we've been it was rudely interrupted by our president. As you know, we're out here in Chicago having a good time. Well, whoa, this helicopter... Whoa, whoa. Let's qualify that. A good time by... We're having a party time. Oh, jeez, okay? that's even worse. And this is our gauge, the helicopter. As yes, we start the day, it is down. What is, a helicopter? Continue, what is a helicopter, mm -hmm. Brian? That is our alcohol level. Oh, okay. <laughs> As it gets like this, it means we're getting full. And last night at 4.30 when I came in, it was like that. <laughs> we Sounds miss good, it, bro. and God bless you all. What's that you got on your wrist there? Is that a wristwatch, man? That is a 173rd Airborne Whip. All right, all right. 18 Which years old. Which one's helicopter now? Let me see the helicopter, man. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's upside down now. Uh-oh, 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 all right. We miss you. Yeah. You're missing out one hell of a party out here. Well, too bad they didn't come, ain't it? Huh? I met up with a buddy of mine last night that I served with. Unbelievable. You got it, bud. It's hard to describe, ain't it? Very hard to describe. Yeah, man. Right on, brother. All right, bro. That's not the way they work that we would have first. Why would the infantry go in first? Because the they're kind of back there for support. You send the guys in to make some contact, and if they need some 50 fire, then you know, be ready to move them forward and work for them and kind of use it to like our maneuvers work that way. And, and also up in the trees, it's RPG City, and yeah. give them a little, a little space. You know, this is uh, you know, this is the Michelin. This is either the Michelin or Dao Tiang. I don't know what's in it. Do you want to do? No, a piece of paper, a black piece of paper. I'm going to show them. It's up around there somewhere. This is the Michelin. These are our guys. How long are you in there? A couple of days, a week? Huh? Oh, we were in there for a couple of weeks. Really? When I left, John was there longer. I left. No, we were there for a is This is during a firefight again. If you look closely, you can see you can see the smoke, yep. and they're working their guns. Yep. And Don, I'm back here with Gandhi. Hey, Don, excuse me a second. If that was in the middle of a firefight, how the hell did you get pictures? I'm, I'm getting to that. OK. <laughs> I was back here with Gandhi. Excuse me, sir. And 
we were kind of in a secure place there, and I'm handing the thing to Andy, and I dug down in my pack, and I'm doing like a couple of these <laughs> that I was going to send to my brother. Same way I used to fire my rifle. <laughs> like this. Right. Can I do a couple of these? Wait a minute, you're not supposed to All say that. Bullshit about breathe and squeeze and <laughs> yeah. I know, yeah, but. A lot of that going on. But there's a fight going on in there. If you look at it kind of closely. This is after a fight. Just to get a feel how chewed up some of the shit was. And when you get all those 50s and things cranking and going and just make, Drips, food, just go make trips. fruit salad out of the undergrowth. Yeah. Anyway, there's that. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. I don't know where this is, but there's something going on there. You can see. This was, uh, this is just after a fight, and they've napalmed this. And there's, we were going in there, some small arms. Who napalmed it, man? We did. No, oh, the Air Force didn't the come Air in there. You're, you're right. You mean the Air Force was over there? God bless the Air Force. Oh, my <laughs> God. Listen to that. You hear what he said? You mean Air Force was over there, huh? Listen, I tell you, I, I could kiss those guys. Well, wait a minute. I'm Let's not waiting. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Let's just do the middle of the movie for right now, okay? <laughs> All right. But um, they napalmed this. Did they, did they hit it right or did they screw it up? I think they got this one right. And uh, <laughs> the... Uh, no comment. <laughs> I, no, I was very much impressed by some of their, you know, some of their precision and how they could lay some of that stuff in there. So oh. Very much impressed. Oh. Thank you for that. And, um, Gonzalez, put your hat back on. Oh, you do have it on. I'm sorry. But they're kind of hiding behind it. It's a termite mound or something. There's still some small arms fire and stuff going on. That's the medic there, I believe, again. The guy from Texas. And, um, I'm really bailed my rear end out of some things. Here's a phantom pulling up out of a, either a bombing run or a napalm run. You can just see him there. He's just coming up out of there. <coughs> Um, I don't remember where this is. I took this from the chopper somewhere. I'm always getting dinged, so I got a lot more chopper rides than some of the guys did. You know? Somebody said something to me the other day, and he says, Jesus, you got all these purple hearts and things. And I feel like he was impressed, and I said, you, you know, you don't have to be good to get hit. <laughs> yeah. Just had to be there, right? Yeah. Super sold in the world. <laughs> I got three hearts, but there were five woundings. Two of them were, were friendlies. I didn't know until last year you didn't get hearts for friendlies. Uh, I got a few hearts for No. That's what some of that I stuff. Don't freak out about being out. Not yet. No red button. Your photo. No, I'm not. Is there a telephoto or, or what's telephoto, Jimmy? This guy. Did huh? you wear your jock strap this weekend? <laughs> Are you recording? You it's not recording. Thing. It's not, I oh, tell you. It is. I can tell he's back up. <laughs> All right, tell the story now, Mr. Moore. You see this? Yes. He used to wear this over there. Get a good shot of it. Where see at? This? Bomb loaders used to have to wear these. We used to put one side here. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, no, really. Give Grace a break. You ever lift a 500 pound bomb? <laughs> <laughs> get over there, Moore. Get the chin picture, buddy. Now, what I was going to say was, and, uh, no, I'm not going to say it now. I'm on TV. I can't stand television. All right. No, I'll say it anyway. God damn it. We're here. We're having a good time. We sure right. are. Yes, we are. Can I go, man? Wait, 20 years. 20, 18 years for this. It's fantastic. What I was going to say was, uh, <laughs> let's see, what was I going to say? I, you know, I've been working all these years, and I really never had time for a lot of people, a lot of friends. You know what? In the last year, I've had more time and more good friends and more good people than I've ever had in my life. Really. Yeah, I'll back you up on that 100%. 100%. Yeah. Can't beat it. No. Can't beat it. I have. Isn't I'll that right? I'm the first one to say it. Mr. Frey? 210 all the way, buddy. There's our El Presidente right yeah, here. Good man. <laughs> Good man. Yes, and then Grace has everything we need from uh, chapstick to aspirins. Piece of work. Good girl. Yeah, you see that guy right there? Put a camera over right there. Okay. That's Frame. You see the profile? Come on, Frame. Get up there, buddy. Nice and slim. The one with the big wrinkles? <laughs> <laughs> That's Sunbird. Good man. Good man. Look at that son of a bitch I joined to, 10. It's great. That's really, really great. great. He's a good man. Yeah. But he needs a little work. Yeah, you need to shave. Well, 
But I'll tell you what, 210, you guys, let me tell you something, pals and gals, you really blew it. Because I'll tell you what, this was the greatest weekend that you ever, ever, ever could have spent. And for all you chintzos out there that couldn't come up with 178 bucks round trip airfare, and for all you really chintzos, I would have paid your way if you said, I want to go. Put your jacket on, buddy. That's right. Now I have something else to say. Next time we have a little parade, if you can't make it, Mr. Moore will fly us off in his Avion aircraft. Yeah, really. And I know he will if I'm you cannot sorry make it. I'm sorry he didn't make it. We're going to try and do a tape and not get real crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about a little song now? What was that song you're... about music. This is a combat boot. All right. Air Force issue. You notice the grip here. Let me get a close-up on that grip, will you, Mr. Moore? It's called a... You notice on the bottom of an Air Force boot that it's not worn. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> if you notice this boot, uh, this work. was worn for the first time by Tom Frame in the Wrigglesville Parade and the Memorial Day Parade. Excellent. That's why I've never worn them since. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get serious. It's too bad you didn't make this, really, because... Mr. Mr. Frame, no, wait, hold, where, is his, hold, hold, hold. where is his off button? Because I want to put this down. <laughs> no, it's too bad you didn't make this because you really missed out on something. Else. But we have it on tape for some of the guys. They cannot get the uh, real well, warmth, etc., from the, the, the wonderful this is people shop. It's going to be a fundraiser for 210. It's going to cost you 20 bucks a pop. Other than that, hey man. So, shit. He's out the window. <laughs> Don't waste it on me, pal. Whoa. Hey, man, made in Korea. I'm serious. Look at it. Yeah, there. somebody got on my case one day about, hey, you got the Vietnam veterans, you get your hats made in Korea? This is made in Korea, BVA 210. 100% polyester. This is an adult size. One size fits all. Why do they say adult? One size fits all. Hey, Frame. Yo. How the hell do you shut him up? Mr. Moore? Yes, sir. Show me uh, the uh, Green Beret syndrome they have here now. <laughs> sir? G give me the bow down, the routine again, please. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. You want to show them the Green Beret syndrome? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Green Beret syndrome, man. You Green Beret? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was Get close. for it, man. Hey, whoa, shit. <laughs> hey, man. Whoa, Green Beret. Whoa, green Beret, man. Hey. Guys ate up. No bow, man. <laughs> green Beret? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Guys are bad, boy, I tell you. Mr. Super bad. Not really. What's the word? No, There's a bunch of nice guys in there. Is that word? Yeah. Is that Quinlan's word? It's Collier's water. water. That's some funny smelling water. Grace, you want some water? Mm -hmm. I got sunshine. See this? See this? We see it, Mr. Moore. Do you, know, you know what that is? No. I'm wired tonight. Amen, man. 150 pounds of C4. <laughs> this is in case things go bad tonight, you know what I mean? Like it's going to be a wild night over here. Just in case the fireworks display is not up to snuff. This in case, this is in case things go bad. Ha! <laughs> Setting more off. <laughs> Setting me off tonight. They're going to be a flash in the park. It's going to be a oh, big, boy. god darn flash. Hope you guys appreciate it. We're doing it for you back at Dawestown 210. That's right. Much of good guys couldn't make it tonight. I'll tell you another one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good water. This hotel's got the best water in Chicago. Yeah. The best water. Gracie, are you alive? Mm -hmm. Are you over there, Gracie? That lump on the bed there is Grace. That's right. <laughs> I think I missed the belt loop here. This is a fun camera to use. It really is. I can pan in. Father. Got the room? Did I get you? Did I get you? Huh? You missed that little thing with the brown pants. Oh, you sucker. Is that live? Not yet. Live from Chicago. Hey, Jim Moore. How about some singing there, Mr. Moore? Can't sing, man. All right. What are you talking about? I think Solomon would be proud if of If you think I'm going to use profanity, I'm just not like that. The Air Force was only the Army. The Navy, the Marine Corps, the Navy.
I've had about enough of this. What 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 uh what room are you guys in? Eight something. Alright, I'll dial eight something. I am. Tell them what you're looking at. You gotta narrate uh identify yourself. Bobby Collier. This is Sergeant Collier, USMC. This is the lake. As you can hear the horns down down below. I'll I'll band down there for Mr. Moore. He's so gracious to let me use his camera. He don't give me shit if I fall out, as long as I leave the camera. <laughs> We're having a great time here, really. Bunch of good guys. Yes? I am. Can we help you? Sir, sorry. Who is it? Welcome aboard, Harry. Glad to see you, buddy. Button? Yeah, I'd like to have one if you would, Joe. I appreciate it. How much? Get out of here. Thank you very much. I mean, in your plain dealing, I didn't hear exactly how much you want. Check it out. Well, get the hell out of the pool. Get to get, get, get back, Mr. Moore. I can't get the button. Turn around, Jimbo. Don't you ever call me Jim Moore again. I'm sorry. Don't you ever call me It's the pool. Don't you ever call me Yes, sir. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm going to get a telephoto on all your ribbons now. Let me see now. I'm going to telephoto in, Jimmy. Vietnam still remembers. Okay, buddy. Let's see the other ones you got, Jim. All right. What do you have in your right breast pocket? What's that right there? <laughs> Jimmy, you have to stay back. You're too close, please. Thank you. You're looking good, Jim. Jimmy, where's your bush hat? Okay, good man. Say your last name again, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Say your name and rank, please. That's the problem. You never do, buddy. Come on, let's hear it. Hey, I pin myself. I'm good. A bunch of A1 guys right here, I'll tell you. I wish uh, all two tanks could come up with us today. Brian. How you doing, buddy? Brian, what were they throwing out the window, buddy? I can see your tears still. <laughs> we are in the uh, 
I don't know what the hotel. I don't know what the name of the hotel is that we are in. I kind of forgot, but it looks like Elliot, the jeweler, right here. Let me zoom in on him. And this is um, El Presidente, Mr. Uh, Framey. Hi. Hi, Framey. How do you get that thing to work? I got it. I thought the Marine had to go. You know, buddy. Joe, where are you going, buddy? The machine? What kind of machine? <laughs> Good man. Okay. Elliot, you really look good with that cancer stick in your mouth. Really. Take it out of there, buddy. That's better. Thank you. Charlie, this is Charlie, my New York contact. Hi, Charlie. How you doing? Yeah, just. Uh, what? All right, I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, Charlie. Just come up to me. Good man. Good man. That's great. Still want? Oh, yeah. Password. The man was smart. The man Nobody was there. smart. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the password is Camden, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ever know. Come on, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, you want to go out and get him and bring him in here, or or should we walk him himself? Look at this guy. What's up? Don't be shy. Not much. We show up shy. And here's Grace. Here we go. Where's Pistola? He went over to beer, Grace. Where do you go? Hey, Jim, see if we can catch up with his buddy. Hey, Jim. Uh, yeah. This pledge for you, brother. The catch. I can't, I can't shoot into that light. Good. Ooh, a lucky mm -hmm. I'll stand here all night. <laughs> I can shoot everywhere but into that light. Yeah. Watch yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 man. You know, some ice on there. I'll go away. It helped me. I saw a nice machine. I'm going to show you where my boots are. You guys took a little bit of cat. Yeah, I know. He kept telling us to get out. Did he really? I don't know. Can't do that. You know, he says, no, that's not the way we do it. And we said, what's up with me? We're in here. He says, well, no, you got to get out. And then the guy. Wake up, Collier. He says, just get out of here. Get that away from my place. And there's Elliot over there sucking in some tobacco. Because you have to take him in line. Yeah. Uh, are we going down? All right, Jamie, spread them. <laughs> sure are. I'll go with you first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch your, wait a minute, this is a little fuzzier. Yeah, kind of looks funny on here, you know what I mean? Uh, All right. Just be I got my pen. Where is that? You got a pen. You can, that hat must weigh about eight pounds, man. We won't blow it off. Yeah, I took half the pins off of it. Did you really? Yeah. Chris said it was too body. Clean up that hat. Yeah, Nice profile frame. No shit. Hey. <laughs> nice profile. Stay. All right, let it out Stay. now. Let it out now. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's just, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Well, I can't. But that's also the park there. The park's there. You just walk in there and, mm -hmm. you know. Walk down the I would assume that they'd have you in the same place as they had the group, so, you know, everybody would be there. That's where they had all the concessions and those things here at the park. Yeah. Well, I suppose some of the beer off the ground there, right? This is what uh, Gonzalez looks like up close. And the scotch. <laughs> now you know why hey, I don't use, a, now you know why I'm doing good. everything in long distance. <laughs> Looks much better with a wall. Take a whip of this. <laughs> Too bad uh, the camera can't smell. Because this portion probably wouldn't be a black and white. Oh, oh. stay here. Hey, you want to hang your babies up? Oh, woo! <laughs> hey, uh, you want to hang your mouth up? Yeah. To meet somebody, I was in a picture. No, no, no. He went over there to find him. It's really neat. At nine. He must have found him. It's ten. Yeah, hopefully. 
by the Abraham Lincoln statue, right? There's Collier trying to look into other people's rooms. Thanks a lot. I do that and he's going to jump. The guy's got a fetish about the window. I love it. It's getting worse. I love it. What, the rain? Yep. Checking out the rain. That's all. Oh, uh, yeah, how sweet it is. It's Fat Boy, uh, I mean, there's uh, Tom Frame. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, boy. He used to be able to bend over. He used to be able to, to, be able to bend over and tie his shoes. <laughs> yeah, now you do it for me. <laughs> yeah. You see the red light? Yeah. When you want it to stop, you just push it again. Oh. Oh, you don't have I think to hold it. be better if you shut one eye. It would be when lock and load and fire. Oh, look here. Budweiser. There you go. And they're all oh, sitting yeah, like I statues. I know. I graduated from Dutch Alex. Yep. Same gym class. I'm concerned this is home. This is home for all of us. Hey, bud. That's right. We're all home. Yes, sir. You know my feeling. I've never found a bigger home in my whole life. I was telling my wife, Maureen, I says, uh, if we can get our kids to do have what we went through today and find everything, if they can do that, that would be the broadest thing in my whole life. Yeah, straight, man. ever get something as close as this is our home right here, nothing's going to happen. We're all together. That's it. Sounds good to me. See, and it's a shame how easy to play it. How many years, man? Eighteen. Is that right? Eighteen years. Eighteen years we haven't seen you. Is that right? Wow. Well, in June 15, at Philadelphia time, 10 after 5, we're together. All right, brother. <laughs> I think that's the right time. I'm not sure. <laughs> that's great. Besides having, having my kids is the broadest thing I ever did in my life. Yes, sir. Do it again. Yes, sir. So will we all here? That's, that's why we're here today, man. To remember. This is what we're doing here. We're home. He couldn't have been there. He's crying. All right. All right, man. Looking good. Hell of a crew here, I'll tell you that. Is there a police officer in the room? Uh-uh. Out of the way, man. Sally, look at for you, Sally. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, he's hiding in the closet. Hey, he's a closet vet. Hey, how much you want? Closet vet. Who the hell is that? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, how much you want? 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 Hey, I met my partner. If it wasn't for you guys, I mean, there is a God. All right. There's a God. All right. Because so I've never good. met Paul Hundreiser. I mean, he's from the neighborhood. All right, man. And he was there, you know, walking that lobby. If I didn't, I gave somebody a twenty, but he bought something with it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, well, well, there he is. That's the guy that really gets, man. There he is. Yeah. And I cleared the bar out with the Marine Reserves. There you go. There you go. I didn't care what he did with it. He bought some beers, and I came out, and I had to get it. They told me to call the police department. I could not dial 911. I thought they had to, I thought they had to put the water in the telephone booth. And here I am in room 911. So there is a guy. That's right. Welcome aboard, man. And the other thing is, All right. I don't think we're going to serve. Good help to you. Thanks. Pretty good. Is that hey, it? Hey, turn that strawberry this way and face at the same time. <laughs> is that, is that? Yeah. Oh, God, I you know. It's okay. Is Gonzalez, Gonzalez is still here? Yeah, he's still here. He's got his head on. 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 All right, take that picture. Hey, is that pretty or not? All right. That's oh, great. Great. Here, 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 here
where do you want to be? Is that is that our time? Yeah. We're still in the fight, so. Oh, is it? Oh, it's your turn for the guy. No, it's all right. You know, my tech five is federal off your time. What's your job, man? You're going to be your own staff, man. You're going to be your own staff. 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 Well, Turn around, Bob. That's it. You guys need to get home tonight. We're going to go home. We're going to go home. We have something to eat. We have something to eat. We have something to eat. Okay? We're in room 1114. Well, you're in 1114? Only for about four hours, man. Only for about four hours. Why? What time do you got to get out? 1114, you guys remember this? Okay. Uh, uh, that's 12. 1114. I know. Yeah. I knew, man. Shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm going to wait for you. I can push you right up. And, uh, nice to meet you. I think that's part I can't. I can't let you go play with all that scene oh, no. again. We'll be there. I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah. I know you want to see you to stay. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, good night, Bob. See you guys. It's all on tape, guys. I'm just waiting for the sun to come up now. Hey, wait a second. Hey, you're forgetting something. What's going on? What's going on here? <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> the whole time, man. Is this his room or is this somebody else's that we just borrowed? <laughs> well, Tom and um, Jim were there. Oh, 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 Everybody's oh, going when he's here. All right. Yeah. Say goodnight to hey, Tom hey, and Jim. Hey, 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 yeah, fine. Well, you tell him pay my rent, and then I'll, uh... I'll work right away. All right, I'll make it No problem. Well, that's about it. My hands are tied. Just, uh, just act naturally. Don't worry about, don't worry about this close-up from the VCR camera. Just act like there's nobody standing here. This is family time. It's rolling. How you doing, Don? Kelly, my son Evan, that's Kara, my wife Chris, and uh, you know, can't wait to see you again.